Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rekaha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to the Akin that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth in the sound doctrine. I want to say to Wadi Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the fellow Akin, starting from our apostles, for giving us the opportunity to do these videos, these lessons, that the opportunity to go out there on the highways and hedges to edify and warn the nations of Israel, which are, which are you know, the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? The Lord's chosen people, the one the law, statutes, and commandments, and the promises were given to, all right? Shalom. So, um, as you can see, man, you know, I'm just kind of going to do this quick video on, you know, um, the Lord protects those who believe on him and him only. You know, and I'm, I'm going to make this video real, real quick. There is not really much to say about it, you know, but this is just, um, you know, our job is out, our, our job out there is to warn, you know, and edify, as I just now said, our job out, out here is to warn and edify you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, man, that to tell you that you're not so-called black, that you're, that you're not, you're not black, you're not Latino, you're not Native American, you are an Israelite, all right? Your forefathers were not black. Your, your forefathers were not Negro. Your forefathers were not Latino. Your forefathers were not Native American. All right. Those are those are names given to us, man. But you people keep want to keep want to keep that image going, man. You people want to keep that shit going. Right. And you wonder why we going through what we going through. Well, let me get this. This is, this is uh, Psalm 37. So like this is Psalm 34 and seven. It says the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. All right. And this is in the Old Testament, man. You can pretty you pretty much know who that's talking about. It's for you Old Testament Israelites. A lot of you people out there that say the angel of the Lord is not is not talking about Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the is the deliverer, man. Right? He's the one that's going to deliver us from this hell. And it just said. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about him, around about them that fear him, right? So the Lord, when you pray to the most high, man, when you pray to the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei he puts a he puts a barrier of angels around you, man. Right? And your Lord Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah see that. That you praying and you sincere about your prayers, man. He put he put some angels to protect you, man, from the hard the, from the hardships. All right. Because you're fearing them. It says, and deliver them, right? So you're going to be delivered. If you if you sincerely fearing Lord Yahweh by Shemi Al Shai, right? You, you, you gonna be you gonna be all right, man. And that's that's what we out here to do. This is what we out here to tell you. Right? This is what we out here to tell you to not believe in. Let me let me get one scripture real quick before I move on to the um to the next one I had. Right? This is this is what you're not supposed to do. Our job, this, the, the, um, I think it was second Timothy three and 16, where it said, um, where it said, uh, you know, all scripture is given by the inspiration of, of the most high man, you know, through instruction, reproof, rebuke, all of that, man. This is one big instruction book, man. Ezekiel three thirty three and 13. It says, when I say to the righteous that he shall surely live, if he trusts in, if he trusts to his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteousness shall not be remembered, man. Right. But for his iniquity that he have committed, he shall surely die. He shall die for it, man. So that goes to you not believing in your own righteousness, man. And this goes to the people that 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 hear these scriptures. Right. This goes to the people that hear these scriptures. The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans that hear these scriptures, man. Cause what did it just they'll say? It says, when I say to the righteous, so if you're if you're righteous, right? It says that he shall not that so like that he shall surely live, right? It said, if he trusts to his own righteousness, so believing in what the hell you want to believe, right? And commit iniquity, right? So you believing in what you want to believe and you commit iniquity and you've been in this thing, 
It said, all his righteousness shall not be remembered. So all that, all that righteousness you did, it ain't going to be remembered, man. But what is going to be re remembered? It says, but for his iniquity that he have committed, right? So your iniquity that you committed is going to be remembered, man. All right? It said, he shall surely, he shall die for it. There is no gray area in this thing, man. And if you're not bowing yourself down to Lord Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, you're gonna face the judgments that's get ready that's get ready to come to pass, man. You get ready, you get ready, you get ready to be left out there, man. And a lot of you are going to be left out. Two thirds of our people. That's a lot of people, man. That is a lot. That's a lot. And I don't think I don't think people think deep down on that, man. That that's a lot of people, man. The scriptures say what. The, the, the righteous shall scarcely make it, man. So if we're righteous, man, you want to scarcely make it, man. So let me um let me get another scripture, man. Amos 5 and 10. It says, They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they ab ab abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Right. So they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. That's why y'all people call us hate groups, because what? We tell you that you have to transform your life, man. You can't, you can't do all that grimy, you know, shit that you used to, that you're used to doing in the world, man. You have to put all that shit down, man, and come back to the voice of the heavenly Father. But that's that's why we're labeled as a hate group, because we we speak against this this wicked shit, man. You know that that, that this is further proof of the power of the Most High, man, and this is why you have to fear him. He literally put us in the in a place where anything that's righteous is bad and anything that's unrighteous is good. Right? That is the power of the most high, man. And a lot of a lot of Jake just don't see that. That this is the power of the most high. You are not to be playing with the most high, man. You are not to be doing this shit. And this is, again, this is why it's our job to do these videos and warn you, look, the Lord protects those that fear him. That's it. That's it. If you don't fear him and you just floating along and you just doing whatever with, your, with yourself, you know, yeah, I feel, I feel the most high, especially you other Israelite cants, man. Yeah, I feel, I feel the most high. No, you don't. No, you don't. Right? This is, um, first John. 5 and 10. Like I said, this is going to be a real quick one. First John 5 and 10. It says, He that believeth on the Son of the Most High have the witness in himself. He that believeth not on the Most High have made him, made him a liar because he believeth not the record that the Most High gave his Son. You see that? And this goes towards you Old Testament Israelites, man. You know? It said, if you don't believe on the Son and the Most High, you don't you don't believe on the Father, man. You know, you don't believe on the Father. <laughs> so, that's another thing. All right. So this is and this is a, a little bit of a longer one. This is Exodus twenty twenty and one. It says, and the Most High spake. All these words saying, I am the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of Egypt, out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt, so like, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Yeah, your Thanksgiving, your Christmas, that Thanksgiving shit is done, man. All right. Your Thanksgiving, your Christmas, your election days, your Halloweens. You know, your Valentine's Day, your Easter bunnies and things like that. Those are all other gods, man. Those are all other, go uh, other gods. And what did it just now say? And that's why you Christians ought to be a goddamn shame to yourself, man. You know, because you sit up there and talk about, yeah, I, I, I read the Bible front to back. I read the Bible front to back. Then what about this? It said, thou shalt have no other gods before me, man. You sitting up there waiting, worshiping a fat man in a red and white costume, man, wait, waiting to give your children presents, man. Instead of you, that that's that's a problem in itself, man. You waiting on somebody else to give your children some presents, right? Well, you supposed to be be the provider, not some goddamn pedophile stranger. You know, 
These are the people you worship, man. Jay, you worshiping your woman. You bowing down to your woman. You say the black woman is God, man. You know, or your wife is God. You know, your wife is your queen. What the hell is wrong with you, Jay? You know? Verse uh, verse 4. It says, Thou shalt not make any... So like it, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath under the earth all right thou shalt not bow thyself to them nor serve them for i so like for i the lord thy god am a jealous god right so he said he's a jealous power man right it says visit visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Right? You hate the most high, man. Right? You liars. And this is the Lord said what? You're not supposed to bow yourself down to them, man. You know, you bowing to Jake, you bowing down to your woman. You know, the Lord only said you're supposed to bow down to me. What the hell are you doing, man? Right? You bowing yourself down to, to, to the flag and shit, man. You know, the, this, this wicked ass place. You sitting up there going to vote, 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 vote. Knowing, you know, knowing deep down in your spirit that this voting shit ain't going to help you. You think, you think Biden is up there to help you black, you so-called black people, man? You think, what, what, what's her, what's her name? Whatever her, something Harris, you know, is up there to help you black bitches, man? Hey, that ain't there to help you. See, they there to further enslave you. Right? But you know what you say. Ah, oh, well, I don't want to hear it. Okay. That's fine, man. That's cool. We 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 ain't sitting up there with a yoke of iron around y'all neck, man. You hear it, you hear it. You don't, you don't. What does scripture say? If a man have an ear, let him hear, man. It said, and shewing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Right, so the Lord is going to shoot mercy upon the ones that that truly love Him and keep His commandments, and not try to make a damn excuse. Oh, uh, 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 well, the scriptures say that we're we're in a new covenant. You know, well, the scriptures say this, and the scriptures say that, and so I can eat pork, I can eat chitlins, I can eat, uh, I can commit adultery, I can roll up a roll up a blunt. You know, I can be homosexual, things like that. The Lord said what? Be doers of the word. Hearers and doers. Right? So it said, and shewing mercy unto the two thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. You know, no excuses, man. You either love the Lord or you don't. Ain't no gray area. Well, I believe in this part of the Bible, but but the other part is just written by man. That's it. That's it. The other part is written by man. You know, or 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 you know, Paul's. Uh, writings they say that that that's Paul's uh, 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 opinion on things that ain't that ain't true man because everything that's that Paul said and that's that's how you know we we got the 100 percent truth man I said great millstone man that's how you know we got the 100 percent truth right because you got these people that that say any anything and everything man now the biggest thing is the RFID chip is, is, is one always been been one of the biggest things that the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast you know, it's everything else except the mark of the beast. Well, we keep it simple to say, look, man, straight up, that shit is, in fact, the RFID chip, man. I mean, the, the mark of the beast is, in fact, the RFID chip. All right. Verse seven. And I think this is the last verse. Uh, I'm going to get on this video. It says, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy power in vain. Right. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that take of his that take of his name in vain. And a lot of you Christians out there that say, "Oh, that's that's using profanity. That's not using no damn profanity. You know, taking the Lord's name in vain, blaspheming against the Holy Scriptures, man. That's that's sinning. That's what that's taking the taking the Lord's name in vain. That's what that is. You claim you claim that you worship the Most High and you really don't." That's taking the Lord's name in vain, man. Right? Or, or trying to switch shit up. 
You know, saying what the Lord said and didn't say. Just trying to switch shit up, man. That's taking the Lord's name in vain. And the Lord said what? I will not hold him guiltless. So you, so by you saying, you want to know what taking the Lord's name in vain is, you damn Christians? By saying you can celebrate Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving. That's taking the Lord's name in vain, man. Where in the scriptures did it say, worship that shit, man? Where? Where in the scriptures did it say, hey, you can come as you are. You can come as a homosexual. You can come as a, as a pedophile. You can come as a, 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 a transgender, man. Where in the scriptures did it say that? That's taking the Lord's name in vain. All right. So that's all I got on this video. Call all your how about Shimia Shalom.